I showed you how to make pickled beet eggs and pickled mustard eggs, and now hot and spicy pickled wieners, the ultimate bar food. I'm Tess, and welcome to my kitchen. This is an old and good recipe. If you visit a Pennsylvania bar or tavern, you will most likely see some of these hot and spicy pickled wieners. They are delicious and go great with a cold mug of beer. I'm putting in some thinly sliced onions with the wieners to add some flavor. And I'm making them about an eighth of an inch or so thick. The recipe calls for about two to three pounds of pre-cooked meat, such as bologna, hot dogs, sausage, or smoked sausage. I just happen to be using all beef, but you can use whatever you like, just so it is pre-cooked. I have some hot dogs, smoked sausage, and some of those little smokies. The hot dogs and smoked sausage I'm slicing in half, or slice them, dice them, or chop them any way that you like. To help the brine penetrate the meat, you can also poke a couple of times with a fork. The next step is making the hot and spicy brine. Just a warning that you will need good ventilation while cooking. The combination of the vinegar and hot sauce can be a little much. In a pan on medium high, I'm adding four cups of white vinegar and a five ounce bottle of red hot sauce. And I'm using Frank's hot sauce. And now we have to add some sugar to balance out the sour and heat. And a little salt. Not too much salt as the wieners already contain a lot of sodium. Now for the spices, and they are simple. Adding some pickling spice, whole peppercorns, and a good dose of cumin, and some red pepper flakes. Yep, more heat. These are hot and spicy wieners, so beware. Giving that a good stir, bringing up to heat, and simmering for three minutes. Occasionally stirring and then removing from the heat. I want the brine to slightly cool before adding to the jars. If you like this pickled wiener recipe, please remember to like, subscribe, and I always love to read your comments. You can also find me and more of what I'm cooking on Facebook and Tess Cooks For You blog. I have three pickle jars that I washed and sterilized. You can use mason jars, and by the way, these pickle wieners can be canned for future use. Just placing the wieners and sausages inside the jar along with some onions. There's no right or wrong here, just put them in as they fit. Be careful not to overstuff the jar. You want the brine to cover and flow in around the wieners. Once you make these pickle wieners, you can adjust the heat and seasonings to your liking. You can use cider vinegar or even add some saved hot pepper brine from your favorite hot peppers. I have also tossed in garlic, dill, fennel, carrots, or leftover hard-boiled eggs. You can lower the heat level by decreasing or eliminating the red pepper flakes. For some extra heat and danger, you can add two or three sliced hot peppers of your choice to the brine before cooking, and then add them to the jar with everything else. The brine has been cooling for about five minutes, and I'm carefully pouring the hot brine over the wieners and sausages. I'm dividing the brine between the three jars and making sure I stir well before each pour to even out the spices. You can see I don't have quite enough brine, and that all depends on the size of the jars and the amount of meat you use. So I'm topping off each with hot water, putting on the lids and giving them a little shake to get the brine and spices evenly distributed, and letting them completely cool before refrigerating. Refrigerate for at least 24 hours before eating. The longer the wieners pickle, the hotter, the spicier, and the better they are. I have known some that do not refrigerate these pickle wieners, but I have always refrigerated to be safe. Believe me, they don't last long. Hope you give these hot and spicy pickled wieners a try. Until next time, cheers and enjoy. And thanks so much for joining me here in my kitchen. You can subscribe here for my future video recipes. And remember to come visit me on Facebook. You never know what I might be cooking. Until next time, much love.